Hey y'all, Johnny Mullet here with another update on this goalie build. We got the bus in the shop here today. Got my friend Michael here helping me out since he's not afraid of heights, not afraid to climb up on the roof. And we are installing an additional vent in the roof for the bedroom because we did notice it does get warm in there, especially on our trip to California. So let me crawl up there the ladder and show you what we got going on. This is a non-powered, no-fan vent. This is just a simple RV vent that opens up and closes. And I think it'll be good enough for the bathroom. And Michael's up here just plugging away, getting this done. Uh, wasn't a whole lot to it. We just, just like the fantastic fan, we had to cut the two holes. We had to cut the holes twice, actually, to get it to fit just right. And we used uh, some of this. What do we got this? Universal vent installation kit. I actually had two of these because what we wanted to do is on the sides where the curve is, we put like three layers and then one layer on the back and on the front. So we also used the, uh, what is that, that lap sealant, self-leveling lap sealant. And we went ahead and we used this around the putty and now we're screwing the vent down and then we'll put one more coat of this to make sure it is completely sealed. So let me show you what we got going on inside the bus. Well, I should have did this a long time ago before the inside of the bus was all done, but I got some drop cloths and stuff down and I tell you what, we made a mess. It is what it is. But anyway, here is the garnish. And that garnish will go right up inside here where the new vent is. And the crank handle goes right in here. So once we get the crank handle, you can crank open the vent, crank close the vent. And this nice little garnish piece here will go up inside there. I can't do this one-handed here, but anyway, you get the general idea. It'll look nice and clean and it'll be pretty sweet. And the uh, last thing would be to put the Max Air vent cover on. Once the cover is on, we can leave the vent open if it's raining and this rain's not going to come in. We can also leave the vent open while driving to get some airflow through the bus. So that is why I did not put that cover on my fantastic fan, which is there in the middle. And then I got my skylight, and then we got the additional vent, as you can see. So, uh, everything's nice and even and nice and proportioned up there. It ought to be pretty cool. So, as soon as we get that vent screwed down, I'm going to cut that garnish plate to make sure it fits on the inside. We'll screw that in, and then we're going to get this cover on. And that's going to be pretty sweet. So, this is just a, a real short video. Um, less than four minutes. Just wanted to give you a quick update and let you guys know that, hey, I'm not done with the schoolie build. We still got stuff to do. I want to get a trailer hitch on this thing. I want to get a cargo rack. I want to be able to pull one of our vehicles behind. So there's still a lot more that needs done. So the schoolie build is not finished. Not at all. We still got a long way to go. So anyway, thank you all for watching. See you next time.